What's up, guys? Arceus Cam. And after a very long time, I have a new What the Fudge episode for you. So here's the summary. Here are the Pokemon. I'm versing this one guy, and basically he knocks out all my Pokemon. But one of them, because of its excellent defenses, manage manages to help me get the win. Since most is since a couple of his Pokemon. Okay, one of his Pokemon were physical attackers. Two were special attackers. One was was kind of like a mixed attacker. And I couldn't really figure out what items some of them were holding. Or holding. So without further ado, I shall show you. In this battle, um, this I'm challenging Eric, some guy on random matchup, and I'm gonna send out Jigglypuff and Gorbice. Jigglypuff to keep bulk, gulp, and Gorbice to set up Shell Smash, which will epically fail later. Yep, this is a turn, turn, ten turn long battle, and I try to use Blizzard. Altaria avoids the attack. And you will see the whole battle. Now, Altaria, every time, will avoid every single blizzard I try to do with this thing. I swear. Here, let me try to move the um, camera so you can see it's top a little better. Yeah, Karagos is going to use Crunch, and it does a, not that much. But I do manage to do a Thunder Wave, so I could try to, like, one, slow him down, which barely matters, and two, um, see if he won't attack. Yeah, so now I'm able to set up Shell Smash. But I only used Blizzard that one time, so I can try to snipe that Altaria. But yeah, we shall watch the effects of Shell Smash. And let me turn the volume down so, I can, so maybe you can hear me explain better. Yeah, so it's going to use Fly on my Jigglypuff. Now guys, right there, that proves my Jigglypuff is bulky. That proves it. So now I'm going to set up Stealth Rock. On around his team, he's going to use Rock Slide, which is everybody, and it does a good amount of Jigglypuff. But now I'm going to use Bad Pass on my Gorbice, so I can send out Landorus. Take care of, take care of this unwanted business. Yeah, so it Altaria is going to use Fly, which I really didn't think that I could use him power when it was vulnerable, but I do use Reflect. Because I kind of know that at, at the moment, I think Heracost is like a sweeper. But it's going to use Surf. And I am, like, puzzled. Like, I was thinking it would be a fiscal sweeper. But nope, apparently not. Jigglypuff manages to survive, but Landorus is not doing so good. So I, so I was thinking that I could get it, but he uses Aqua Jet. And basically knocks out my Landorus. Jigglypuff's still up, though. Which, it won't take too many more hits, but it does manage to survive. And that can set up at least light screen. Um, so, basically, I'm going to send out my Tyranitar. And this is a tank. And a new addition to my team. So yeah, Sandstream is going to get a Sandstorm, which means it is now super special offensive. And it's already kind of offensive. So, definitely someone you don't want to mess with. So I'm going to use Stone Edge on the Altaria, but it avoids the attack, and I'm going to use Thunder Wave on Altaria, it avoids the attack. Now it's going to use Surf. Now watch how good this Tyranitar can survive the Surf, proving that it is very special offensive. Now you see that. Okay, either one, or both, one, Karakosa is low HP, and or two, it's because of Tyranitar's amazing special offense. And I was like, literally, um, puzzled. Like, how it was able to only take that much HP away. Like, I was puzzled. Because it's super effective and... Yeah. So I was thinking that out that um, Gorbice would probably be slower than Altaria. So I tried a Blizzard. But that didn't work out good. And when our Altaria does use Fly, uh, my Gorbice is actually ready just to go down. And now I'm going to use Low Kick and... The Karakosa manages to survive again. I am puzzled, but finally, paralyzing kicks in, making him not attack just for that turn. Only that turn, and that sucks. Yeah, leftovers are coming in, and I get most of my HP back from that surf, which actually didn't affect me much at all. But I'm gonna use Blizzard, but look, it avoids it again. So that, I must admit, how could Altarius be that invasive? And I wasn't thinking at the time with Landers, I should use like him power ice, but I guess I didn't have the chance to. Plus, I wasn't thinking straight. Because I didn't really even bother to choose him power ice. Because I was thinking he'd keep using fly. So I'm guessing this Altari is too expanded. But yeah. My plan like come comes out like kinda weird, so 
Garth, so, I mean, Garchomp, uh, Tyranitar didn't get to attack that turn. But yeah, it recovers from the Surf now, Flea HP, as if nothing happened. But yeah, now he's going to send out Electros. Um, now watch, like, in a minute, he's going to use, um, Thunderbolt on me. But first I'm going to use Blizzard, which actually does a good, I was actually considering for this Psychic, but I was thinking Blizzard would be a little stronger. That does a pretty good amount of damage, even without Shell Smash. Yeah, so now, he finally defeats my Gorevice, thus leaving it all up to the Tyranitar. So now that Altar is born vulnerable, I was willing to, I was ready to Stone Edge, thus knocking it out, surprisingly. So yeah, he's down to Electros and Embor. Now watch as he uses his Thunderbolt. Not even a scratch. That's not even a part of, his, of Tyranitar's HP. Now that, to me, is just amazing. Um, now he's going to send out his Embor. Yeah, there we go. And I was really afraid this is a fine type, it would know a fine type move. But you will see in a minute, it's actually going to use Scald. Which, I'm actually kind of puzzled why he's using Scald, but still. Oh well. And still, not that much. I'm still, like, easing in there. I'm still easing in there with quite high HP. Now, I'm going to knock out this Embor in one hit. Again, puzzled. Because Tyranitar basically proves he's a beast. Now he's going to use Thunderbolt again, and still, it's not doing much. Like, he's only doing it little by little, and he knows that he's going to be knocked out by my Tyranitar in a minute. So he is actually going to forfeit now, which I really want to finish him up. But, eh, who cares? So good game, Eric, and this is the what the first What the Fudge episode in quite a while. It's been a while since I found a good battle. Alright, guys. See you later.